Welcome back, nerds and nerdettes. We're back at it again. So last episode, you saw us beat the weather. You saw us do our iron factory, finish that up with some really cool designs, some good twists that my son came up with. I want to take that and kind of revamp what's in the background here. Made some cool fences. We have some really cool designs. There's a lot of just flat, bland areas that I really want to spice up, make a lot different. A little more textures, a little more design. Tell me what you think at the end of the episode. If you do enjoy the video, smash that like key. Also, turn the notification bells on after you subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or upcoming live streams. Enjoy. So you're going to kind of see me in the background here. One of the first things we decided to do was take out that railroad we weren't completing. Uh, it was really square, really just kind of there. Uh, we used it to run back and forth, but there was no real value to it as far as visual effects. So what you'll see here is I've been doing some kind of some research, kind of finding ideas to make this my own. Now, normally I walk through these videos and when I record these, I usually talk about what I'm doing. I just got really in the zone. So I'm going to kind of voice over some of the beginning parts here. I wanted to add some fences, um, some coarse dirt some path dirt, um, add some lighting, put some trees in, kind of put it back to more of like a nature walk. Like we walk this path a thousand times to get back and forth from our homes. Really give it some value, some textures. Plus, you know, we took down a lot of trees. When we first entered this map, and you'll remember back to the very first episode, I ran through a bunch of, just a bunch of trees up to the village and it was really not much else besides a couple hills. As we started progressing with the farm, you know, putting in our own little pond, well, sea, sea pond, you know, we added some fences, some, you know, some areas we just kind of flattened out. And that's me. That's me just wanting to see things kind of look simple. Uh, that's kind of how I looked at it. So I decided to start adding a little bit of depth to all different areas, especially the hill behind this. I kind of brought it out a little bit so the path would wind, wouldn't be so straight. I filled in the um, rock areas. I put some trees down to kind of add some value to that as well because I want this hill to be kind of blocked off in the front. So you can only go from the back sides, which I created paths. So I want to just really get into the Minecraft world and stop being so straightforward with everything I'm building. So I want to put some music on, let you enjoy the rest of the video. I truly do appreciate all the support. My son and I have been really looking forward to doing these videos. We come up with new ideas and write little plans out. It's something that we really enjoy to do together. So I greatly appreciate your support in making this happen and making this really something we can enjoy. We'll see you at the end of the episode.
right, we're gonna make the beacon now. We have the all the stuff. We got the wither star right here. Let's go make it. All right, what pieces do you need to make it? Uh, we need glass. We need obsidian right here. I think Obsidian's it. in there. That's regular in there as well. And then I have some glass in this one way down here. How many pieces? Glass. Do you, need? you need like a four or five. Okay, perfect. I have fifty-five. So grab whatever you need. Let's go upstairs. All right, let's go make this bad boy over here. So if I do think of what it is, it should be glass like this, and then like obsidian like this, weather star in the middle, beacon! Look, it's in my hands. Oh, here we go. I already put everything together. All right. It's there! It's <laughs> Done! Good. Thanks for coming in, guys! <laughs> Alright, bring that bad boy over here. This is our little Legend of Zelda style hidden place. And right there is gonna be. Should I place it? Do it! The beacon. There it is! Oh, beacon in Wait, did you get the achievement too? Yeah. All right, now we got to get the effects. We need a piece of iron or gold or something. Okay. Uh, iron, gold, diamond, netherite. Do you so want just speed? Go. Here, I'm going to go grab some iron up at our iron farm. Dad, do you want speed, jump boost, haste? I'm going to let you choose what you think we should have. I'm going to go up and grab the iron, though. So we have our little Legend of Zelda style hidden forest beacon. So instead of having the big hole here, I think this was a much better plan. Here you go, bud. What Ready? color do you want the beacon to be? One, two, three, four. You can pick any color you want. I like the white, but if you want to do like a blue or something, you activate whatever you want. Speed. I like how it's like a little hidden cove, like when you find the, uh... Ooh, there's speed boost. Health regen, okay. All right, now we go like really fast. Can you get jump boost too? Nah, you. I don't. I don't think you're gonna get jump boost too. Oh, that's this little so area cool. I made for you. Much better than like the train track. It looks a little cooler. Yeah, that looks super cool. Yeah, for some reason, some of these trees aren't growing. It's fine. But what I want to do next is I want to put a bridge. Right here. Like this. Um, nope, not like that. Dude, that's so cool. 